Welcome to Jackie's Craft Table. Hello, everyone. Thanks for joining me today. I have another 10 Cards 1 Kit video for you. This time I'm creating cards with Pink and Main's March Card Kit. This one is called Celebrations. Pink and Main has been in business for six years, and they are celebrating that with this card kit. It's all about birthdays. The kit includes four envelopes, a beautiful packet of confetti pieces. I just love those colors. You get some ribbon and some enamel dots and hearts. I just love the bright colors of these. Also included is a pack of chipboard stickers. And here is your stamp set. Everything coordinates just beautifully together. I love all of these cute images. And there is a sentiment that matches each image. It's so much fun. This time they're doing something a little bit different with the pattern paper. It's not bound as it usually is. It's all loose. And it has a nice sheen to it. It's just beautiful. You get two of each pattern and it is double sided. Let me flip through these for you. But I just love all of the bold, bright colors. And these are the same images that you have in your stamp set. This one's my favorite. I just love this rainbow stripes. And this diagonal stripes, really cute too. But it's just a fun collection of pattern paper. I just love it. Next up is their cutting dies. You get a scallop square and a banner die. I love banner dies. I use them a lot. I just keep them out on my desk. You also get an embossing folder. This is made by Doris. And it's really fun because it's all of these birthday greetings. Different fonts and different sizes. I just love it. This gives you a better idea of the sentiments. Next up is a piece of their holographic glitter paper. And then you always get a lot of cardstock. I'm going to pull these out for you. Some of them have a nice linen texture to them, but I just love the colors on these two. After I completed my 10 cards, I only had a few scraps of the cardstock left over, and I like to use the white cardstock for card bases. On card number one, I'm going right for this beautiful rainbow pattern paper. And I'm going to cut it down. I'm using my Fiskars paper trimmer to cut it down to five and a quarter by four, so it's a little bit smaller than my card base. I'm also going to use the scalloped square die. And I thought this would all be one piece, but when I cut it out, you get a frame and then you get the little square inside of it. So that was a nice surprise. This is a very quick card. I'm just assembling all my pieces. To give my frame a little more structure, I'm going to glue a white frame behind it. This cardstock's kind of thin. There, I think that looks so cute. Next, I'm going to stamp out the candles. I cut out a square with some white cardstock, and I'm going to use some VersaFine Onyx Black ink to stamp this. This is some nice dark crisp ink. I use this ink a lot. And I'll just center that on the square. And then I want to do just some quick coloring. So I pulled out my jelly roll pens. I have a little box of them. You see that to the right. And I'm doing what I call scribble coloring. This is really fast. I'm just slapping down some color. But this technique looks really cute too. Looks kind of graphic. So once I start coloring in the wax of the candle. As you can see, I'm just scribbling really fast. And I'm not even coloring to the edges. I'm allowing some of the white of the paper to show through. This particular set of Jelly Roll pens have really bright, bold colors, just like the, the cardstock and the pattern paper. So I thought this just fit perfectly. I have a few different sets in my little box there. But I will link to the set that I'm using in the description below and over at my blog. 
I believe this set is called Moonlight. These pens are really fun because they also show up really nicely on black cardstock. So you can use these to do some fun techniques. On this last candle, I'm just putting little dots of color. I'm not going to color in the last two candles because they will be covered up with my banners. So for the first five cards that I'm creating, I'm using card sketches. Sometimes I like to find card sketches on Pinterest and follow along with them. And then for my last five cards, I go rogue. <laughs> I just do my own thing. So I'm gluing on my purple frame. And I'm just gluing that down flat onto the card. And next I can put in my little square with the candles. I'm just using liquid adhesive for this. I like using liquid adhesive because it does give you a little bit of time to wiggle the pieces around so you can get them positioned just how you want them. I already pre-stamped this sentiment. And it says make a wish. And I also stamped the little heart from this stamp set. I cut out some banners with some of the pattern paper and I'm popping them up with some foam pieces. And I'm just going to put them on the side of my card. I'm just going to overlap them a little bit. These papers just match beautifully together. It's so fun working with this. Then I can cut off the excess. I'm going to use liquid adhesive to attach my sentiment. There. And for the bow, I'm using some micro glue dots. These are really strong and they'll keep your bow in place. Just going to attach that above my sentiment. And here is a close up of card number one, and there's the sketch that I used. I always like to use scrap pieces of pattern paper on the inside. And I just love how this one turned out. So much fun. Here is the sketch that I'm going to use for card number two. I just love all of these different sizes of banners. So much fun. And I pre cut my paper. And for some reason, I'm using my dot liner here. I think I just had it handy on my desk. But I will attach that to my white card base. And it's, the orange paper is just a little bit smaller than the card base. I'm going to glue down everything flat with this dot liner. Card sketches tend to use a lot of pattern paper, more than I'm used to, but I really wanted to showcase this beautiful pattern paper from this kit. And they just make for bright, fun, perfect birthday cards. And these could be for adults or children. Now for my banners. I just love this teal color. I like this orange yellow and teal together. I think it just looks so pretty. Now I can attach my circle die cut. I'm stamping out the sentiment that says, wear the party hat like a crown. And <laughs> I just love this one. I'm using the chipboard piece hat on this card. I end up using every single chipboard sticker. And then I popped up my sentiment with more foam pieces. And I'll attach that over the bottom of the circle. There, now I can just press that into place, flip it over, and cut off the excess. And this is my finished card. Here's the sketch I used. I attached some enamel hearts at the bottom. And here is a close-up look. And I really love how this one turned out. So much fun. For card number three, I'm using the sketch that you see at the left. And it's going to be a little bit different. I cut out this pattern paper on the wrong angle. So 
the pattern paper is going to be on the right instead of the left. And I'm going to use some of this beautiful teal ribbon. I'm going to use some score tape behind it. And I'm making it a little bit longer than my card so that I can wrap it around. I'm also going to use this ribbon to tie a bow. I usually don't use bows just because they're hard to send through the mail. But I wanted to be exact as I could with the sketches. Although with most of them, I think they are subtly different. And this card really showcases more of the beautiful pattern paper. So I'm going to mat this piece of cardstock with a white piece of cardstock, as well as the pink polka dot paper. The edge was kind of rough here where I cut it with my Fiskars paper trimmer. So I just pulled out my bone folder to smooth that out. I usually prefer pattern paper that's single sided because I don't like cutting into something that has a pretty pattern on both sides. But in this kit, they gave you two of each and that helped me out a lot. So I was able to use up a lot of the pattern paper this time. So I'm stamping my sentiment on this rectangle. I have my chipboard sticker just sitting there and I'll take the backing off of that and attach that above the sentiment there. And then I can just attach my ribbon now. I'll pull off the release paper. Sorry, it's off camera there. And then I'm just trying to put that down straight. And then I'll just wrap it around to the other side. The score tape is nice and strong. And now for some more liquid glue to attach this to my card base. I'm using some liquid glue from a previous Simon Says Stamp card kit. I just wanted to use it up. But it was kind of hard to get out of the bottle. I really got some arm exercises this time making these cards, just trying to squeeze this glue out. Okay, now I can attach my polka dot panel. And I didn't want to cut them down because they looked so cute. The card sketch has them cut down. I didn't want to do that, so I just left them like this. And now I'm going to pull out more of the micro glue dots for my little bow. And I put three or four on there. I can attach that on to the bottom of my card. For a finishing touch, I'm going to use some of the enamel dots. I think I end up using these on most of my cards. They're so fun. And then here is my completed card and the sketch. And here's a close up. I really had fun with the chipboard stickers. I just loved them. I have all of my pieces pre cut for card number four. And I'm going to attach a piece of pattern paper onto my card base. All of my card bases are white this time. Sometimes I do like to use the colored cardstock that comes in the kit. But I just used those for panels and for die cutting. And as I said, I used all of it up. They were just fun to play with. I'm snipping off the end of my glue just because it was so hard to get out of this nozzle. I thought it might help. It did help a little bit. But I still had to really use some muscles to get this glue out. As you can see, I have to use all of my fingers. I'm going to attach these two panels together. And then I'm going to attach this to pretty striped pattern paper. I think I end up following this card sketch really closely. To create my banner pieces that you see up at the right top corner, I use the banner die and then I just cut them down so they were short. And I pop them up with some foam pieces. I'm using the sentiment that goes with this cake, and it says, There is always room for cake. And I, this is my favorite sentiment. And I'm just stamping that onto another banner die cut. I'm going to pull off the release paper from this chipboard piece and adhere that onto the yellow cardstock. 
I put some foam pieces behind my sentiment and I'll attach that under the cake. This will give the cake something to sit on so it doesn't look like it's just floating there. And now for my cute little banner. So I'll take off the release paper and I'm just eyeballing it. I'm not even going to put any string, but it gives the illusion that there's a string there. I think it turns out really cute. And now for my last one. There we go. I'm also going to add some more enamel dots. I use up a good portion of these on these cards today. I like to use up my supplies. I don't like to have a lot of leftovers. My craft room is not that big and I don't have a lot of storage space. Here's the completed card. On the inside, I used another scrap of the diagonal paper. For card number five, I'm going to follow this card sketch pretty closely. I'm gluing down the middle strip of paper first. I already cut out some rectangles with the beautiful glitter cardstock. There, that looks cute. I just love the purple and the yellow together. And then to match this card sketch, I'm pulling out my corner chompers. And I'll cut out two corners on both of these rectangles. And then I can just adhere them down with more liquid glue. I really love Pink and Main's glitter cardstock. It has such a nice weight to it and it's so beautiful. I'm going to use two more of the chipboard stickers on this card. I die cut some more circles for this card and I'm stamping the sentiment that says my gift to you. And then I will mat it with this pink cardstock. There we go. I'm going to pop it up with some foam pieces. And then I can pull off the release paper from my chipboard stickers. And those do not stick to the glitter cardstock very well at all. They kept falling off, so I had to use some liquid adhesive under these as well. I think that looks so cute. I'm going to use some of these confetti pieces on this card. So I pulled out my triangle tray and I'm going to pour some into there. I'm picking out just the pink confetti pieces for this card. And like this sketch, I'm going to put three in the bottom corner and three in the top corner on the right. There are different sizes in this packet. And I'm just going to glue those down. I'm using a jewel picker that I found at Hobby Lobby. It's really sticky. <laughs> I just wanted to give it a try, but it's nice, but it's just a little too sticky sometimes. And here is the finished card. Sorry, my card sketch is so small. But I just love the shine of that paper. On the inside, I used a piece of purple cardstock. For my next card, I already stamped and colored in the little cake image. I pre-stamped a bunch of my images onto a piece of 80 pound Nina Solar White cardstock. And I pulled out my Arteza alcohol markers. And while my kids and I were watching a movie one evening, I just sat and colored and had so much fun with these darling images. I use this square die a lot on these cards, but I just couldn't get enough of it. It's just too cute. I'm attaching everything down flat onto my card because I am going to use that long chipboard sticker with the candles on it. And that adds some really fun dimension to the card. At first, I was just going to create five cards with this kit, but the pattern paper and the stamps and everything was just so darling that I just couldn't stop creating. So I went ahead and created my usual 10 cards, one kit. I find that these days I do have a little bit of extra time to sit down and craft. My kids are home from school now indefinitely, and I'm working for home. And what with homeschooling them and cooking and cleaning and doing my work does keep me pretty busy, but I do find the time to keep on crafting. 
I'm sure everybody needs a little bit of time to put down the weight of the world, all of the scary and serious things going on right now. It really helps to put your mind to something else. Now back to my card. Here is a close-up of it all done. On card number seven, I'm going to be using the square die again, <laughs> as well as the little banner die. I'm attaching a piece of the orange card stock onto my card base, and then I cut out the square with yellow card stock. And I'm only gluing down that left edge, as well as the left edge of this pink piece of card stock because I'm going to be placing all of my banner die cuts behind this square. And then I can reattach the right side with more glue later. I'm putting a little bit of liquid adhesive behind these banners and then just tucking them behind the square. And I'm using more of the cute pattern paper for this, as well as a piece of the silver sparkle paper. All of them are going to be different lengths, and I'm just trying to get them evenly placed on the right side of this card. And I'm not putting glue at the very edges of these banners because I want to have them kind of flip up, give a little bit of dimension to the card that way. There, I think that looks so cute. I'm going to put a party hat inside my square. And this is another image that I colored in off screen. I cut out my image and now I'm just popping it up on my card with some foam pieces. I went ahead and stamped my image on another banner die cut with some pink ink. And I'm just trying to figure out where I want to place that on my card. I popped either end of that up with some foam tape so that it would be the same height as the party hat. And that's all for this card. I also added a few enamel dots around my hat. Now it's time to play with this darling embossing folder. I'm using a piece of the blue card stock from this kit, and I'm positioning that inside the embossing folder. And then I will run that through my Sizzix Big Shop machine. And I believe it's on tab one. Every machine is different, so you'll have to do it according to the instructions of your machine. And here it is, all embossed, just looks so cute. I'm using a finger dauber and some pink ink so that I can bring out the sentiment, happy birthday. I'm just going to do it on this one sentiment, but it sure makes the sentiment pop with this ink. I love the teal and the pink together. I think it looks so cute. You could really cover the whole panel with this pink ink and it would just look darling, but I just wanted to spotlight that one sentiment. I'm attaching it to my card base with more liquid adhesive. It's getting to the point that I have to use both hands to get this glue out. But I just want to use it up, like I said. I don't like wasting it. I'm also going to use a strip of the sparkle paper on the left side. This adds a fun touch. And then to bring out the sentiment even more, I'm going to use a pink square frame. I'm putting glue around the whole thing, even though I'm just going to use a portion of it. It's going to go off the side of the card. Um, but I'm going to cut off the excess. And as you can see, it does have glue on it, but I'm not gonna waste that. I'm just going to put that on the inside of my card. It looks really cute. And then I can just snip off the overhang. I added another sentiment and a few of the enamel dots, and that's all there was to this card. Super fun and super cute, I think. I'm sure I'll be playing with this embossing folder a lot more. For my next card, I'm going to stamp out the candles onto a piece of the pink cardstock, and I'm going to stamp them down first in the center of this cardstock. And then I'm going to shift the paper and stamp them at either side of the candles. This just helps me to stamp them out in an even row. 
Now I'm shifting the paper and I'm just eyeballing it to see where to stamp it. And I do end up stamping that out several times to get a good dark impression. I just want a long row of candles. The little chipboard sticker of the candles kind of inspired this card. I'm going to fussy cut out just the top of these candles. I'm going to use this piece as a border along the bottom of my card. I'll pull out my cutter bee scissors. These are nice, small, but sharp scissors. And I'm just leaving a little bit of a border around each of the flames. This was pretty fun and easy to do. I think that looks so cute once it's all cut out. And I'm not even going to color it in. I'm just using it as is. There we go. By the time I was done with these 10 cards, my desk was just an absolute mess just so you know. <laughs> okay, I'm going to attach it with a little bit of foam tape to this blue piece of cardstock, but I am going to cut it down to size first. I'm just holding that in place and then cutting off the overhang. Just trying to line it up. There we go. Now for my foam tape. This is some Arteza foam tape, and I love this tape because it works great and it has a great price point. Now I can pull off the release paper and attach it along the bottom of my blue paper. There we go. I'm also going to use another strip of the silver sparkle paper just to hide the rough edge at the bottom. I already stamped out the sentiment and cut it out with the banner die, and I'm popping that up with some foam tape. And now I'm going to use the last of the chipboard stickers. I thought these little hearts were so darling. I'm going to put one by my sentiment, if I can get the release paper off. <laughs> I do add a little touch of liquid glue behind these stickers just to make sure they stay in place. Didn't seem like they were overly sticky. <laughs> So here is the very last sticker. And now I can attach it to my card base. I also painted on some clear glitter gel with my Spectrum Noir pen on the flames of these candles. And that's all there is to this card. I had a leftover piece with the orange card stock, so I just put that on the inside. On my last card, I'm using my very last piece of the purple card stock. And I did try embossing on this paper, but it was too textured. It wasn't very legible, so I'm going to hide that in here in just a minute. But I'm going to put my frame down at the top of this card. I cut it out with some cute pattern paper. I just love that pop of rainbow color at the top. I'm just gluing that down flat, and I'm going to use a piece of the pink cardstock inside the frame. And then I colored in one of the cute little presents, and I colored it in very slim simply. Most of it is white, and I just did pops of rainbow color on that. Now, to hide my sentiment goof up, I'm just covering it with a banner. I wanted this to be at the very left edge, but you can still see the white sentiment. So I just put an enamel heart there, which did look kind of odd. So I just added two more enamel hearts to create a stripe across the bottom of my card. Thanks for watching, my crafty friends. I hope you're all staying safe and staying happy and find the time to sit down and craft. I'll be back again soon with another video. I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye. <music>